I'm the creator and founder of the Body Regeneration Method and home of the TLC Community of Extraordinary Living. But the method was created because I had to restore, repair, and regenerate my own life when I was given no more hope, no more hope by a lot of experts and professionals. And that's how I ended up today, creating what I've created to help people just like you awaken more of who you are. And that's what it's about. You're not broken, you're perfect. You're just awakening all the newness in you to become a better version of you. When I learned that a lot of things in my life changed. So goal setting, I get this question a lot. Tracy, I set these goals, they don't work. And I'm gonna to explain to you why goal setting doesn't work anymore, what you can do to get out of that space and how you can change your life by really setting different things around intention. So if you remember when you were a child, they'd say set goals, where do you wanna be in five years? Where do you wanna be in 10 years? I don't know about you guys, but when I was in school, I didn't know where I wanted to be in five years. I didn't know where I wanted to be in 10 years. So what happens is when you get to a space in life, you've set a goal. I'm gonna lose 10 pounds in the next three months. That's your goal. So you actually start setting yourself up for failure. So what the body starts looking for is that result, that end result, right? So when you hit that time period, so now you've locked that energy in the body, you've hit that time period, and now when it doesn't happen, you now hit all these areas around failure and it comes up naturally. And then you plug into all the other people in the world who've set goals and it didn't work for them. You have to remember that you're creating and generating your life, but you're also connected to the collective consciousness as well, which is a belief system that many people in the world share. The key to actually energetically unlocking anything that you want is to be inspired, to be joyous, right? When people say I have no motivation, so I didn't achieve my goal because you don't have motivation, that's because you're not inspired. You're not inspired. That's why people don't get motivated. So when you're inspired for something, what you need to do every day is take that inspiration and say, oh my gosh, I went for a walk today and I felt great, awesome, well done. Pat yourself on the back for all the little steps that you took and watch how that's gonna turn into big steps. So if you lost a couple of pounds in a couple of weeks, Excellent. Don't sit there and go, well, I only lost five pounds and I should have lost 10. Again, that's gonna trigger all the goal setting. So we wanna remove and collapse that accumulation of energy, which we can do, thank you God, reset, let go for each and every one of you, and override that. So we speak into the energetic body and impart the joy, the happiness, the inspiration of the achievement you had. Right, so sometimes we see this in the business world, or you might say you have a, a goal to make $100,000 in your company, you see other people are doing it, and now you've beaten yourself up because your company didn't make that 100,000 in that first year. Well, that energy, because you've now set yourself up for that budget, how about saying this is where I would like to be, however, as long as I see the growth happening, I'm happy with where I am because now I can have an even better, better, better. When you say to the God consciousness that you're ready for something better, you will bring that energy in and that's where the shift happens. So align yourself to where you would like to be with no expectation and no outcome. Let's take New Year's Eve. How many people do you know New Year's Eve comes and then all of a sudden they're like, I'm gonna have a New Year's goal, my New Year's resolutions. I say out with that, stop that. Because what happens again, you set yourself up, been to a gym after New Year's, everybody's like, yeah, I'm doing so great, they're so excited. And then at the end of the month, the gym's empty because there's a lot of information where they're excited because everybody's doing this, but then the body peters off. And then again, you hit every roadblock around where you didn't succeed in that goal setting. You didn't get to that time period. And then all of a sudden the body collapses, the energy collapses, and then you're disappointed in yourself. You don't feel worthy about yourself. You feel like maybe you failed. And that's the energy we don't want to bring in. That's why it doesn't work. So where have you set up goals and you didn't reach them? And I want to shift this for you. Thank you, God. We said, let go. I'm going to shift this. If you don't know that simple tool, you can look at it at the end of this video. It'll be up on the screen so you can learn how to take charge of yourself. 
But the thing is that I also want to share with you is what can you do other than goal setting and how can we remove that energy from your field so you can become empowered, you can become inspired and you can get to the outcome that you're ready for. So I want to really talk about the final thing here about expectation and outcome and goal setting and how it can become an energy of sabotage. So you have a goal, okay? You say, this is my goal. Now you've set yourself up. If you don't achieve the goal, all the energy, it's like blocks are gonna come crashing down because that word goal setting has been used so wrong. So now you have an expectation to an outcome around a timing, okay? Expectation, outcome, timing. Think about that for a minute. So if you don't hit that, now your expectation is blown. That creates a block. When you have an expectation, you create a block in your field. When you are saying, this has to be my outcome, you now create resistance in your field. And you create resistance in your field because it's your outcome. However, I will tell you, when I learned to remove this expectation and outcome, that Hannah God brought me a way more and way better in my life than even what I could imagine. So you gotta remove the expectation, the outcome, and you gotta remove the timing. So there's a few things. You know how people say, there's two things guaranteed in life, death and taxes. Well, you know what? There are a few things energetically if you learn to let go. Thank you, God, reset, let go. Have an expectation to an outcome around a timing, okay? Expectation, outcome, timing. Think about that for a minute. So if you don't hit that, now your expectation is blown. That creates a block. When you have an expectation, you create a block in your field. When you are saying, this has to be my outcome, you now create resistance in your field and you create resistance in your field because it's your outcome. However, I will tell you, when I learned to remove this expectation and outcome, that Hannah God brought me a way more and way better in my life than even what I could imagine. So you gotta remove the expectation and the outcome and you gotta remove the timing. So there's a few things. You know how people say, there's two things guaranteed in life, death and taxes. Well, you know what? There are a few things energetically, if you learn to let go, thank you God, reset, let go, then all of a sudden you are gonna remove your expectations, your outcome, and your timing. And then what happens is you become in alignment where the God consciousness can give you a better timing. Because what happens if some more people need to come? So you don't get your timing, you get upset, you disconnect yourself because now you feel like you failed, but what happens if you had waited another six months and then that new person came in to maybe give you that better job opportunity or change your business structure for you so you can make more revenue? So what's going on behind the scenes here, we don't always know. So we think we know best, but I will tell you, when you learn to get out of your way, that hand of God, spirit knows best, always. So get rid of expectations, get rid of outcome, and get rid of your timing but keep moving. And if you are in the joyous energy of creating, then all of those interference energies will drop off and watch how quickly you will actually receive what you're asking for. And it's gonna be better because I've learned one thing that Hannah God knows way better than what I do. I get the information, I see it, I run with it. I call it a God idea, I start moving, I start creating, and that's the connection. That's why you wanna stay connected each and every day and be in the energy. So goal setting, thank you God, we're gonna remove the accumulation of energy, collapse everything where you learned about goal setting. Let's get rid of that and let's put up a whole space for you to say this is where I would like to be. Thank you God, we set let go, but if it's better and better and better, I am open to better. And I'm gonna to start to see the progress. You're gonna see it go like this, you're gonna see the new people come in and it's gonna be better than what you thought. So that's why we're gonna get rid of the energy of goal setting, it's really heavy. And if you take a minute and feel that energy, when I say goal setting, it feels heavy if you're connected to your body. When I say creation, and you're in the flow of the energy with what you're creating, feel how light it is. You can feel that in your body, and that's the difference which is gonna get you to where you wanna go quicker than what you thought. Get you to where you wanna go quicker than what you thought. Get you to where you wanna go quicker than what you thought.